Best Buy outlet was a bust. Is it just me or like, I really don't want to go to this Walmart now because I don't want to be bothered. Ooh, that front tire is terrible. off day a little junky a little junky but it's okay though so a few days ago we came up with the assumption that i should be able to lose or attempt to lose seven pounds in a few days so let's get a raw reaction first wake up boom right at 256. i look rough i'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash my face clean my face brush my teeth real quick Fun fact, I found out that I have carpal tunnel in my wrist. So I thought I injured it in Vegas, picking up the luggage, come to find out I have carpal tunnel. So that's great. It's one more health problem. And yesterday when I was like vlogging, I remember distinctly saying like, hey, like my foot's hurting, starting to feel like tight, tension, all this other stuff. Now this morning, my Achilles is just like stiff, just stiff. So I know my body. I say that to like know your body, like know your limits. I'm glad I didn't put any like weight bearing stuff, like all my like weight bearing exercises on my actual workout yesterday. It wouldn't have been any better. So I aced it last night for a total of 20 minutes. I'm going to go through, um, like I said, do my like little morning routine real quick. And then I'm just going to put some ice in the bucket and just ice my foot while I edit videos and that keep me occupied. Um, that kind of keep me distracted and that keep me stationary so I can actually edit this video. So I'm going to do the preventative thing because I only have three days off. If not, but two, I have three days off um, and they go by really fast. So I have to kind of like recoup for the most part and just have to be very tactful because four days on your feet walking 15,000 steps is not easy at all. So see you there. Some time later. So here we are, day two. I don't know why it looks laggy. It looks really laggy. Here we are, day two, off day. I do not know what happened. Like, I, I don't know what happened yesterday. Like, I remember, like, I ended the video. I was about to, like, edit content for YouTube. And I fell asleep for, like, four or five hours. Woke up, and then I was going to record. Then my SD card was full. So then I had to, like, I'm just now, like, figuring that out. Then I end up falling asleep again and not waking up until 4 o'clock this morning on my second off day. And then I was, like, up and I edited, like, some, like, TikTok stuff and some other social media stuff. Stuff, and then was still working on this video and then I started processing this video it's been processing all morning trying to get to 4k so it's been like a long time like four or five hours so now it's posted but it's not processed up to 4k it's 10 30 right now I have an hour before I have to go to Costco to go get my tire like inspected and changed to see how much that costs so cameras charged SD card is cleared I moved the files over here like reformatted it I just really need to, need to buy another SD card and stop being cheap but I refuse so I'm gonna go to Costco. Uh, I'm about to hop in the shower. I cleaned up a little bit, spray the couch down, uh, kind of like let that settle in, shower, and then we're gonna go to, like I said, go to Costco, probably pick up some water while I'm there. Hopefully the wait's not too long. And then, like I said, we'll be good to go. And then probably swing by Best Buy. Might just pick up an extra SD card just in case, or see if they have like a battery charging station with like two additional batteries. Um, If not, I just order them from Amazon. And then I fell asleep again this morning. And like, I'm just now waking up. Like, I don't know, like, I know I was soaking my foot. I don't know if my body was just like tired, just trying to play catch up, but I'm not gonna argue with it. I was gonna go to the gym last night. I ate my food, probably like at 9.30, last night but then like around 10 30 i was still editing this video for youtube and i wasn't like i wasn't feeling like i could go to the gym without throwing up so 12 o'clock came before i knew it and i was already asleep before 12 so just randomly falling asleep on the couch like not even making it to the bedroom so body's probably exhausted don't realize it but like i said we're going to hop in the shower head on uh camera's already ready so like we'll vlog that out and then yeah so be right back got the long sleeve on Cause it's 70 degrees, bag, shorts, pretty simple. Need some shoes, find some shoes. All right, so the plans get the tires changed, fixed, looked at. I uh, need some chlorine for my fountain cause it's giving a really bad smell. I'm gonna go to Best Buy, pick up some beef, pick up some turkey, some mixed vegetables from Walmart or store, Target, wherever. Might go to the tent shop, maybe, we'll see. Hopefully it don't take too long at Costco. I don't want to be there all day. I don't want to have to Uber back home, but if I do, I do. It is what it is, so let's get to it. So the weather is like perfect. My long sleeve might, might hold me back a little bit, but we're off. Probably going 
to Best Buy for SD card, probably going to the grocery store, Central Market, Kroger, something. Also plan on stopping at Apple, probably, if not Best Buy, and picking up a mouse, because I'm really sick and tired of my mouse. So probably picking up a mouse before I pick up a computer. Yeah, other tires look good. Ooh, that front tire is terrible. Let's look at the front tire. Extremely low. And it's just a little knot right here. I'm hoping it's contributing to it to get it fixed, but let's see what we can do. Chubby drive, look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh well, fuck them, dog. We gon' see how. It's extremely ghetto right now. It's extremely ghetto. Frustration is at all time high. So I get to Costco, look at Costco. My membership expired. Cool, whatever. Pay the 120. Actually, no, I was supposed to pay 120 and then I downgraded to the other plan. I don't shop at Costco much. Cool, 60 bucks, whatever. Fast forward, wait in line. They have one person working at the tire place. Cool, I get it, understaffed. I go ahead, proceed. I get my membership first, wait in line. Now my appointment was at 11 o'clock, I mean 11.30. Now it's 12 o'clock. Get my appointment, he goes inspect my tires. And I know like I need one tire, minimum. Like I know I need one tire. Come to find out, I need three tires fixed out of the four. Cool, whatever. So, total it up and then they have some promo. If you buy four, you get $110 off. So it does all my ringing up. He does all this, does that. And then he's like, yeah, your total is like $900 probably. So I'm like, okay, cool. So then he's like, you know, you're gonna need alignment. I gotta go somewhere else, get the alignment done. And then he said, yeah, about $900, blah, blah, blah. He does some other stuff. He goes outside, gets my tire size again, blah, blah, blah. So it ends up being cheaper. So it ends up being like $700. I'm like, okay, cool. It's not 900, it's like 700. But still, so I went in and got four tires. I'm gonna use my other good tire and keep it as a spare. So I was just not expecting to spend $700 and then turn around and spend $60. So now I got so frustrated, I ended up going to get a smoothie from Costco and a slice of pizza that I didn't want but frustrated so called the uber then i realized that i have a second car so i waited in line again to get my second like my spare key well my second car key so i can still do what i gotta do stay on schedule without being like thrown off too much so now about to head to best buy i'm not gonna lie to you i don't feel like spending no more money today because i know my alignment's gonna cost me about sixty dollars i know to get my suspension look at it's gonna be something if it's something wrong with my suspension. So this car barely has miles on it and it has issues, like it doesn't make sense. So I don't know. Uh, the mouse I wanted to get was $100. The SD card is like 40, so it's another 150. Um, the food is probably gonna cost me like 50 bucks, so another like 200. I mean, another 50, so 200 there total. Um, was looking at buying some more like tissue, blah, 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 laundry detergent, which that's gonna be like another $50 as well, so 250. So another 250 to 350 for the day. I'm not looking forward to it at all. I don't like unexpected like purchases, and I know I probably could have rolled in the tires a little bit longer, like I know I could have, but my luck, I would have ended up taking the risk, fixing one tire, saving the money now, and then end up having a blowout or something random happen because these Dallas highways are just trash. So we're about to hop in the second car, go to Best Buy, kind of browse around a little bit. If I feel the need that I need to buy another SD card if they had a mouse, I'll probably just go ahead and get the mouse over the SD card. I don't mind moving stuff and that saving me like 30, 40 bucks. But I definitely have one of my friends is about to buy some of my shoes I'm not wearing at all. So it'll balance itself out. I'm so angry, I might even return some shoes that I bought that I haven't worn. I got a low key might go upstairs like return shoes. I might do that tomorrow. We'll see. So we're about to shoot the best buy and see what they have like camera wise and then go from there. Bro, I'll tell you like, I literally, literally got in the car, got in my second car, started driving, get the phone call from Costco, and I'm like, hey, your car's ready. <sighs> just paid the Uber, just got out, I saw I'm over here at Car Toys. So over here at Car Toys, um, this is where I got my speakers and stuff installed um, on my car. Because I plan on selling this car and getting rid of the dash. Basically selling this car, I plan on selling this car and taking out my sound system, my dash, my camera, subwoofers, tweeters, all this stuff, and put it into the other car because it's the exact same car. Uh, this is a 2018 Honda Civic, but it's a six speed. My other one is a 2018 Honda Civic as well. So they just quoted me basically 1645 to basically remove the front window because it has a tear in it in the other car. Remove the front window, tent, retent it, and then add 5% on top of the current tent for the other car. And then they're charging 300 plus tax to tent the front windshield because it has to be ceramic, it's liability and all that other stuff. That comes out to like $700 by itself. And then to uninstall the speakers, camera, subwoofer, screen, put the old 
like OEM stuff back into the car, turn around, install it in the other car, it's gonna cost like a thousand dollars. Like, when I tell you I can't catch a break. Like, I love that I have these subwoofers in my car, but now it's like a like a pain in the butt. Like, I wish I never bought them. Like, I almost want to sell them, but I don't know if there's a market for speakers. I just feel like it's so much money, and I know they're overcharging, but I can't prove it because it literally doesn't take that long to like literally unplug the wire like and do this and do that it does not take that long literally i'm kind of irritated so I'm about to go home i'm gonna go home now drop my car off call another uber go back to costco pick up my car i'm so mad i might get another slice of pizza and a frozen mocha coffee thing or whatever get that and then probably drive to omar wheels because they have a tent shop beside that and get a quote and see how much they're gonna charge me hopefully it's cheaper than 700 dollars and we'll do it that way sitting on the curb looking homeless waiting for my ride don't see him i'm thinking about three minutes away so nice day outside a little warm nice little vibe but yeah, should be on his way. So just waiting on him, go to Costco, pick up my car, see how far Omar's is, and then go from there. A few moments later. So we made it, got the car. Had to stop at Dutch Brothers though, stress eating. So now we're at Best Buy. Got the running Best Buy, see if they got anything for me. Got the new tires on the car. Gotta get an alignment at some point. We're gonna go in here and see if they got the mouse, look at some iPads, look at some other stuff. And then we'll be off to, wherever the next stop is. This is why I hate coming to Best Buy, because they have this cool band right here. I don't need it. Exactly why I don't like coming in here, because I always find stuff. All wants, no actual needs. Got MacBooks. They got a MacBook Pro 16. I want to see how big that is. 24.99, 16. 14, 13, and then the air. So the price is a little bit better than I thought. It's actually 22.99 for the Extreme Plus 128. Then it's 36 for the Extreme 256. So I might just get the 128 since I do move my videos off. But right now I'm trying to be a little bit cost effective. So $23 versus $37, not that big of a difference, but I might just rock out with this one for now. But that MacBook Pro 16 inch looks really good right about now. Really big, has a lot of screen. Doesn't make me feel like I need like an additional screen to extend it off of. But the 14 inch is like in a better price range, but it's still gonna cost 2K plus for a MacBook Pro. So it can actually render down my videos like they need to. So I don't know. Should be interesting to say the least for sure. But I'm gonna grab this magic mouse while I'm in here and then look at some more stuff and then I'm gonna be out for sure. I walked out, the thing beat twice. Nobody stopped me, but the thing went off twice. But there's like no one in Best Buy working right now. Like when I say nobody, I mean nobody. So I got a magic mouse, $100. I got a SD card, it's $23. So 130 spent. So now we're, they have a Best Buy outlet. So we're gonna check out the Best Buy outlet. I'm just walking down here. Apparently it's all open box items. So I'm just gonna check it out, see what they got. Yeah, so they don't have anything in here but washers and dryers, refrigerators, and everything else. So it's a bust. Not much here. Got some sound bars over here. 250. Prices aren't really bad. It's just all open box stuff. So. All right, so Best Buy outlet was a bust. If you're looking for a fridge, washing machine, dryer, really good prices for sure. So they did have some sound bars in there. I don't need any sound bars at the moment. So on to the next. All right, so I pulled up to Walmart. I don't know if it's like anxiety or what it is, but there's some people, it's like, trying to get people to sign up for stuff. Is it just me or like, I really don't want to go to this Walmart now because I don't want to be bothered. But if I do go to this Walmart, I'm gonna have to like fake hold the phone up to my ear. I don't like telling people no, but I don't want to be bothered. I just want to walk in here and just get what I need to get to walk out. So we'll see, let's we'll see if I go in or not. All right, so I went to another Walmart, whatever. Judge now you're like, I'm getting this pot, massive dumb pot. $25 to cook all my food in. Cook like my beef. Pot I have right now is just struggling. So found the pool stuff. Trying to find some chlorine for my fountain. 
in my living room because the water sits and it has a really bad smell. It makes my whole apartment smell terrible. I gotta burn more candles, so chlorine. Go grab some meat, then that'll be it. So we found the chlorine, chlorine tablets. So we're gonna go through and see what's what. See what we can do. Get this waterfall in my apartment not to smell so bad. So definitely went to another Walmart. I drove 15 minutes to go to another Walmart because I refused to be harassed while I'm trying to shop peacefully. You're not going to ruin my peace on this good day. So got the pot, 25. We're going to find some chlorine and we'll get some meat. We finally made it back. 6.53. So we got SD card. We got Magic Mouse, so $100. Actually $130 there. Bunch of stuff from Walmart that I wasn't planning on getting. Asparagus, sweet potatoes and carrots, broccoli, old fashioned peanut butter, all natural. So shout out to Phil Kofer. Phil doesn't know who I am, but I am a huge supporter of his page. Um, he has like a vegan lifestyle and his lifestyle has kind of shown me like to look at like certain products. I got this rice too. So like look at the ingredients and see how simple they are. So when I look at the honey peanut butter, the honey peanut butter had nuts, sea salt, soy, canola oil, and like some other oils in there, which soy is bad for men. So this one, literally the ingredients are peanuts and 1% or less of salt. That's it. Which is why it doesn't taste as flavorful as like, you know, other peanut butters. So I kind of had to, Bite the bullet on that, and I'm gonna start looking at it. For the most part, I, eat the, I mean, he doesn't eat meat and stuff like that, but it would be something I'd be willing to try. I just have really selective taste buds. I'll be eating the same thing every day. I'll probably be eating carrots and sweet potatoes, and like that's it. Like, ingredients on these are the sweet potatoes, which is like what you would like want to see. But this rice, though, water, paraboid long grain rice, tomato, green bell peppers, less than 2% of canola oil, tomato powder, salt, sugar, yeast, extract, onion, spices, chili pepper, garlic, citric acid, paprika, extract, natural flavors, rice starch, vitamins and minerals, iron phosphate, folic acid, thiamine, monotrate, vitamin B3, vitamin B1. So it's not too bad, it's pretty bad, but it's not too bad, I can actually read it. So I got some rice, I got these sweats, extra large, I think these are like $8 or $7. Fun fact, I had about 14 pairs of these, and like I was wearing them in the winter, I was freezing, so I got so irritated that I gave them all away and I bought all Fear of God stuff. And Fear of God sweats are $100 a piece. I don't really like wearing those to the gym, so I'm gonna buy those, see how they fit. If I need to go down to a large, and I'll probably just kind of have those with the gym. I'm trying to get away from wearing like short shorts stuff to the gym, kind of stay covered up, stay focused. Uh, I got some sweet tea, Milo's sweet tea, and I also got. Uh, Milo sweet tea and lemonade. I strictly got this because I'm going to the liquor store at some point and I'm gonna buy some crown peach. Uh, the crown peach is definitely gonna complement that. So that's usually my go-to. And I got some 93.7, 937 um, turkey. And then I got some 90.10, uh, no 96.4 ground beef. So I got three pounds here, three pounds here. And then I got some bacon, which I didn't eat, but that's how I eat my egg whites, so whatever. So I'm gonna mix that ground beef and that, uh, that lean ground beef and that turkey together. And the pot that I usually cook all my food in is this pot. It's a little, I've had it for a long time. I've been struggling to cook with that. So I went ahead and bit the bullet, dropped the $30 and got this massive 12.7 quart. I'm talking about ginormous. This is gonna get some work done, so boom. Drop the meat off in there, pause, and then just like literally stir it all up, put it in the serving container. It's gonna be a good vibe. So that's all I got from Walmart and Best Buy. I got some shoes in that I need to do a review on. And yeah, I got some shoes in, I got some clothes in to do a review on. But yeah, that is my second off day. Volume, whatever you wanna call it. Maybe three, four, five, volume five of the off day series. So, oh, I also got these chlorinating pool tablets. I have this waterfall that I put water in, of course, um, but over time, it just starts to like build up some type of like, almost like fungus of some sort. It smells terrible. So I just did like some research and chlorine pool. So I'm gonna try it. It's probably not gonna work, but I have to at least try it. I like to run my waterfall. It's just that smell. I started up the last other night. The smell was so bad in here. I'm not doing that. So I bought two different ones. They're literally both chlorine tablets. So 
I'm gonna drop one in there. I'm gonna change the water out, put some fresh water in there, drop a chlorine tablet. We'll see if that helps. But that's what we got for today. Definitely did a little stress eating today from spending all this money. I spent 700 at Costco, 760. Let's round it up to 800 at Costco, 130 at Best Buy. Um, another 130 at Walmart. Yeah, and that was it for today. So all in all, way too much money spent today. Um, I gotta get an alignment tomorrow at Honda at seven in the morning. That's gonna be annoying because that's gonna probably be a hundred dollars for the alignment. And I guarantee you, they're gonna come back out and be, oh, you got this wrong, you got this wrong. Costco also said that I had two rims bent on the car. So, you know, just kind of like, kind of sprinkle, sprinkles on. So on top of the $1,600 I'm gonna have to pay to get all the stuff moved from one car to the other. Just kind of one thing after another. I don't really like spending money. I would rather spend all this money on shoes. I understand life happens. So try and be in a more positive mind state. Like life happens, stuff happens. I want to be preventative as possible. So, you know, when stuff doesn't go your way, still be grateful in some capacity. I kind of like learned that today. So I'm still grateful that I even have the funds or the means to be able to drop $700 at one time and get stuff fixed. There's some people out here that don't have that luxury um, or don't have that capacity to be able to do that. So still thinking positive, no matter how negative the situation is. So we're gonna cook this food up. I don't know, I'm feeling like going to the pool. It's kind of warm outside. It's, you know, it's 81, felt warm. So I might go to the pool. And I might not. Definitely plan on going to the gym tonight. My wrist is still hurting. It's cool. I'm trying to work through it. But my foot, you know, a couple days ago, I said my Achilles was hurting. Uh, my Achilles is still kind of sore, but now the bottom of my foot is super tender. So I'm going on to ice it severely, which I ice it at my desk over here. And when I'm icing, I end up editing videos. So it's kind of like a two on one. It kind of takes my mind off the pain of it being so cold. So we're probably going to do that. And that's going to be it for tonight. So appreciate everyone watching. Please like comment subscribe thumbs up thumbs down share i think i already said comment do all that supposedly it really helps the algorithm on youtube so i'm all for that to like spread it out yeah that's it